Okay, so in this video, we're gonna we're gonna make a more advanced uh, bar graph. Specifically, we're gonna make a grouped, uh, stacked vertical bar chart. Uh, so the data set we're using is Orion Profit data set, which has a bunch of uh, uh, different things in uh, regards to different companies, the product line they have, uh, the supplier name, stuff like that. <clears throat> so for this, we go to uh, graph. You can see all our different options for for uh, graphing or plotting uh, our data. So we're going to do a bar chart. So we click bar chart. <clears throat> and we're doing a group stack chart, vertical chart rather. So we click group stacked vertical chart vertical bar chart and then we go to our data so we're interested in uh, the total total amount of profit so we have an option here to give us the sum of all that so we look for our profit variable right here and move that over to the sum and we want all of our columns to be broken down by the the uh, product line so we find product line and move it all to over to a column to chart <clears throat> And then we want to group our bars by customer age group. So there's four different age groups. So there will be four different sections of of uh, bar uh, bar graphs. So look for our customer age group. Move this over to group bars by, <clears throat> and then our stacks, if you will, will be the product category. You can move that over. Okay. So let's see what this looks like. Let's click run. Okay, here we go. So we have our four different groups. See, it's grouped by the customer age group, and you can see down here, this is a 15 to 30 years old, 31 to 45, 46 to 60, 61 to 75, <clears throat> and all this is rel uh, in relation to the uh, total sum. And then you can see we have our product line here, whether it's children or clothes and shoes, outdoors, sports, and then of course, the product category is what makes up our stacks. So this is a very generic, uh, basic looking uh, vertical uh, bar chart, a stack chart rather. So let's kind of change it up a little bit so we can go to modify task. And for this, let's go ahead and play around with the appearance. So just choose our colors. We could just, I'm just going to pick a bunch of random colors. I'll leave one of these white. <clears throat> and so I'm just picking random different colors that'll kind of, uh, oh, these are the colors for the, um, the product category, which is our stack. So each product category will have its own, its own unique color. And do that. Okay, and then let's see. So right now I have a 2D uh, chart. Let's go ahead and change this to a 3D chart. And blocks are rather boring, so let's make this a hexagon. And let's just turn that on. Legend. Let's move our legend around. So move it to the north. And let's just run it to see what happens, see what it looks like. Yes, we want to replace the previous run. Yeah, there you go. It looks completely, completely different. First of all, notice our set of our block chart. We have a, <clears throat> a 3D uh, hexagram. And you see all of our colors are wildly different. And we've also moved our legend uh, from the bottom to the uh, to the top. So this is kind of a simple example of how you can make a little bit more advanced uh, bar chart using the, uh, the bar chart uh, tool under a graph. <clears throat>